Kim Kardashian's former media strategist Shiraz Hassan alleged that her infamous 2012 flower bombing incident was staged to help promote the perfume she was launching. In the Channel 4 documentary The Kardashians, Billion Dollar Dynasty, he claimed that he told her, okay, this is what's going to happen, you're going to be fine, you're going to be safe, but we're going to create a media moment. If we create media gold, guess what's going to happen? Everyone's going to be talking about your perfume, everyone's going to buy it. On Twitter, Timothy Chalamet's agent, Brian Swardstrom, revealed that the actor has an audition for anything in more than seven years. The revelation sparked a debate about nepotism and privilege in the entertainment industry. Tom Cruise's former manager Eileen Berlin alleged to the Daily Mail that, while he was filming Taps, the actor asked her to get a server who recognized him to leave him alone because he was still in character. Justin Bieber's manager, Scooter Braun, told that Justin almost missed out on a music career because he wasn't attached to a Disney Channel or Nickelodeon show. The labels weren't willing to take a risk on a YouTube star. Scooter said, there was no valid evidence and no proven track record. The only ways minors have broken over the past years was through having their own Disney or Nickelodeon show, and every label told me that unless I had a TV show attached to one of those networks, they were not interested whatsoever. In the biography Christian Bale, the inside story of the darkest Batman, Christian Bale's former assistant and publicist, Harrison Chung, alleged that Leonardo DiCaprio was his boss's biggest Hollywood rival early in his career. He claimed that Christian lost roles in movies like Titanic, Romeo, and Juliet, and, initially, American Psycho to Leo. Jennifer Lopez's makeup artist Scott Barnes claimed that he was, temporarily, fired because she blamed him for leaking her secret wedding to Mark Anthony. However, instead of anyone telling him directly, he allegedly learned about it from a news story that was about to run. However, she rehired him after discovering he wasn't the leaker. On the Jeff Probst show, Scott said that she basically told him, hey, it was a big misunderstanding, we've got a lot of stuff coming up, and I really miss you, so let's get back to work. In his book Life with My Sister Madonna, Madonna's brother and former dresser turned tour director, Christopher Ciccone, alleged that she sent his therapist a list of demands and refused to pay him for his interior design work unless he attended Kabbalah meetings with her. Zendaya's stylist, Law Roach, told that she learned how to pose on the red carpet by studying America's next top model. And finally, former Conan writer Todd Levin claimed that Conan O'Brien once fired a crew member because he witnessed him being impatient and rude to a server at a restaurant.